I uh, appreciate everybody joining today. We've got an interesting topic um, that we'll be going through. Shouldn't take us too long, but there's some good information here. And uh, I wanted to let everybody know this is the second of a six-part webinar series that we're doing. We had the first part, the disaster preparedness tips, uh, last month, February 17th. And then you can see the other upcoming topics. We'll be uh, emailing out the dates to those and uh, having webinars uh, that will follow as well. So today, we're talking about the five myths of tape backup. Uh, quick introduction, I'll go through about APEX if you're not familiar with us. Uh, we'll jump right into the content for today. I'm gonna give you a quick look at an alternative solution if you're still using tape and you're looking for something else. Uh, we will have much more detail on the next webinar on the different solutions that are available, but today I'll give you a real quick look. And then uh, if there are any questions along the way, everybody's in uh, listen-only mode, but there's a question box. You can type in uh, anything you want to ask, and uh, Clayton will bring those up at the end of the webinar today so we can address those. Okay, real quick, uh, my name is George Pasadakis. I'm the Director of Sales and Marketing at Apex Technology Management. You can see the whole team there. We're based in Northern California in Redding, and we've got uh, almost 30 people here. Uh, we've been in business for 25 years, so this is our brand new 25th anniversary seal you see on the right. Uh, we're very proud of that fact. We've been around for quite a while, and uh, seen the area really grow and technology grow in importance over that time. Uh, we provide both on-site and remote IT support with 24-7 response. So we can uh, handle your technology monitoring, uh, upgrades, server deployments, workstation deployments, uh, help desk support, all those good things. We've got lots of industry certifications you can see there across all of our technicians. Uh, they're constantly uh, getting educated on the newest and latest and greatest technology so that we can provide the best support possible to our clients. Uh, we do have a fully staffed network operations center and help desk here in Redding, California. You can see uh, right there, these are the guys that are, uh, are handling everything on a day-to-day -day basis. If your users call in with a question, they're going to get somebody live and uh, respond to their issue right away. They also get the alerts from many of our uh, clients that have systems that are uh, triggering a, a monitoring issue that will come right up to the help desk here so they can immediately start looking into it. And that happens even uh, after hours 24 seven. Okay, we're gonna have a little bit of fun on this webinar as well. So uh, this is uh, a car you're probably familiar with from the movie Back to the Future. And uh, we're going to do some quick time travel here as we talk about tape technology and where things are heading. So uh, if, we, if we went back in time and uh, wanted to look at where tape backup originated, we're going to have to go way back into the late 60s, early 70s. And you can see here uh, an old IBM tape backup machine. And uh, at that point, there were people that had full-time jobs just backing systems up and changing tapes. You can see it was the older style reel-to-reel -reel tape, and uh, those are a very uh, finicky and flaky mechanism to, to work, but at the time, they were amazing. They could store lots of data uh, for what was out there in that window, but things have come a long way. So if this guy here, uh, who has a full-time job changing backup tapes, was to, were to use that car and go into the future, he would see this. And uh, he would think things look pretty good. So uh, coming from those reel-to-reel -reel tapes that don't store very much to uh, perhaps an LTO tape cartridge that you might have today uh, that can store a lot more, it's all contained in one nice, easy-to-use uh, you know, plastic container that you don't have to actually unspool the tape and set it up and risk uh, damaging things and they're much faster. So, uh, you know, things have come a long way with tapes. Uh, I bet some of you guys have had a device like this, a Sony Walkman. I know I had a few of these where you would go and take your cassette tapes and mix your songs from a variety of albums and make, a, you know, a greatest hits tape and take this out jogging or for a walk. And at the time, that was a great piece of technology. But if you're like me and you really like music, as things changed, you probably spent some money on a few of these guys right here. I know I had uh, the original iPod, a classic 4G, and I've had a couple of Nanos along the way. So uh, 
you know, as tapes have changed, backup technologies have changed as well. Uh, from the music standpoint, you know, what was what was the big thing with these iPods? You could obviously hold a lot more music than you could fit on one single tape, and you had very quick direct access to it. You could go right to track number eight and not have to speed through one through seven. So uh, they were they were uh, you know pretty revolutionary at the time. Now I've got 60 gigs of music on an SD card the size of my pinky fingernail. So things are continuing to advance. Uh, the point of all of that, uh, along with having some fun, is things change over time. So uh, if you're currently using tapes to back up, tapes have been a really good system for years and years. Um, if done right, they're still a decent system, but there's just a lot of things you have to do to make sure that those tapes are going to work uh, and be available over time, ready to restore information when you need them. So lots of things have come into the marketplace. Um, you know, that will help uh, give you some new advantages over the tape system that you might be using now. And we'll kind of go into some of the, the myths about tape. Uh, number one, the myth number one is the tape backup is reliable. Uh, like I said, you, you can have a, a reliable tape backup system. There's a lot to do for a small to medium business that uh, if you can't afford a, a full-time guy like we saw that's changing tapes and keeping an eye on it, there's some risks that you have. Uh, tapes can be damaged from a variety of things, heat, humidity, dust. If you put it next to something uh, with a high power electric current or magnetic current, uh, the tape's uh, data can be compromised. So, you know, these things are, are your backup. These, are, these have the lifeblood of your business on them, all of your information that you've been collecting and creating over the years. Uh, you know, sales orders, all the different customer databases that you have, and you really need to have something that's reliable and that you know is going to work. Um, the problem with tape is you don't know there may be an issue with it until you try and restore. Myth number two, there's no urgent need to switch away from tape. Uh, you know, today, as I mentioned earlier, technology is just advancing so quickly uh, your business is probably relying more and more on your technology every year that goes by. Uh, you know, you're not able to operate without your systems in place. Uh, your customers are expecting you to have systems that are up, that are working, that they can get to 24-7 perhaps, depending on the type of business that you have. Uh, things need to be secure. They need to know if there is any kind of uh, server or hardware failure or a disaster that's affecting your business that their data is not only available uh, for them to continue to do business with you but that it's safe and secure that you know their information isn't going to be compromised um, you know tape has uh, a complicated process you've got to have uh, you know the, the software set up to back up all of your data to the tape and um, you know if there's a failure of your system you have to go find the right tape, bring it back in to restore from. Uh, that could take a while. That could cre increase your downtime. Uh, you know, you know, consumers are definitely expecting you to have uh, a quick response in any event that uh, would take your systems down. The third myth uh, that backing up with tape is an easy process. There's a, a lot of steps, like I mentioned. You've got to buy and install the tape system. Uh, there's a lot of moving parts in the tape drive. They don't last forever. We're generally seeing three to five years, and you're going to want to look at uh, replacing the tape drive. If that's what you're using, you need to make sure that you clean the tape heads periodically uh, so that the data is going to be written properly to the tape. You have to obviously purchase and install tape software, so the, the tape drive usually does not include any software to do the actual backups to tape. So you're going to go buy a third-party package, something like Backup Exec. Uh, you know, there's, there's different packages out there. That's got to be installed on all of the servers you want to back up. Uh, there may be agents. If you have, let's say, a Microsoft Exchange email server on site, you're going to probably need a special tape agent to back that data up. Uh, SQL servers that you might have your customer database in, there's probably another agent you need to purchase uh, to back that type of server up. And then you've got to make sure you continue with your maintenance on that software so you can take advantage of the latest updates. Once you've got that set up, somebody's going to configure your backup jobs and uh, and start things off for you. Now, uh, once you back up, somebody's going to need to manually swap that tape, hopefully on a daily basis. Uh, you're going to need 
a number of tapes. There's different tape rotation schemes that, you know, go from uh, 10 tapes to 32 tapes or even more, depending on how much retention you're going to need. Uh, and then uh, they're going to pull that tape out that was backed up to last night, and then they've got to manually transport it somewhere off-site. You definitely need to be taking your backups off-site if there's a fire, a burglary, anything like that that could affect your uh, your systems. You're going to be relying on that off-site copy. Uh, usually, somebody's in a small and medium business is taking it home, uh, perhaps to a bank safe deposit box. That takes some time and some oversight. What if that person goes on vacation? Is somebody else uh, taking their place and rotating the tapes? Do you trust that person? Um, are the tapes encrypted so that if one is lost, uh, that uh, you're not going to be compromising your customer's data? And then you've got to monitor and manage that process. I mean, you need to make sure the tape backup's actually happening, that it's being rotated, and um, uh, that all of that is going smoothly. So there's some, some time-consuming and cumbersome steps that are involved there. Now, when you want to go and use the tape to restore files, you may have to go to that bank safe deposit box, find last Wednesday's tape that you know contains the files that you need, bring it back in on site, uh, put it in the drive, and now go searching through the tape uh, linearly to find what you're looking to restore. And uh, that could take a while. If you have a, a more event, and let's say your server's crashed, now you've got a much bigger situation. You need to go find the right tape. And in some cases, if you're doing differential or incremental backups, you may need more than one tape to restore all of your data from. Now you need to go and acquire uh, a new piece of server hardware, for instance, if yours crashed, or new hard drives to replace in your current server, and then uh, reload the tape software and then restore from it. So there's some some time. It could take, you know, one to three days to get a replacement server unless you've got a, a, a spare available, which most small and medium businesses don't have the budget to do that. So uh, you're looking at some significant downtime to do that. Uh, I've got the little cartoon there, uh, you know, this is not off-site storage. The guy's hanging in a tape uh, off a pole on the side of the building. You definitely need to be taking their tape to a secure location away from your, your main place of business where the, the servers are. Myth number four won't happen to me. Uh, downtime happens to, to most businesses over time. It's not a question of if, it's when. So you definitely need to be prepared. That's why we're doing this six-part series of webinars. Uh, we've got lots of good tips and information on how to create a real business continuity plan that backup is one component of. Uh, you need to be thinking about these things ahead of time before they happen and um, be prepared and, and do some testing. You know, there, you can calculate uh, the what the cost of an hour of downtime would be for your business. You can take a look at uh, the formulas we have down here. You basically want to take uh, how much you pay your average employee times how many employees you have. Um, the average small and medium business, according to Gartner Group, has 10 hours of, of downtime per year. And uh, that can get expensive if your, uh, your staff is not able to use your system, you're not able to... Uh, process uh, healthcare insurance claims, your point of sale system, you know, whatever your business is, a website taking credit card transactions, if it's down, uh, your staff isn't going to be able to do anything, uh, but you're still going to be paying them. How long do you keep them around without sending them home? Depends on, on the type of, of issue that's causing the downtime. Uh, so you have the employee cost, then you have uh, the impact on revenue. If your business is dependent on your system to bring in the revenue, you are not going to be able to continue to take those credit cards or uh, see those patients and do the billing and, uh, and do your collections. So you're going to have perhaps some impact on your revenue as well. If you combine those two, you're looking at the total cost uh, of that downtime for yourself and your business. Myth number five, I can't afford an alternative solution to tape. Uh, a lot of people are, are worried that if they want to look at uh, a replacement system for their current tape backup, that it's going to cost a lot more. There may be some ongoing cloud storage costs. But if you really look at the overall cost of uh, a tape backup system, it actually is fairly expensive. You have the cost of a tape storage center if you're paying for a bank uh, safe deposit box, you've got that cost. Uh, who are, if you have on-site IT or you have a, 
a third-party company that's handling your IT, uh, all of that time to restore your files and rebuild a server, all of that, there's some cost with that. Uh, the cost of purchasing the right number of tapes to use in your tape rotation and replace them over time as you're, they're wearing out. Um, you know, lots of uh, the tapes will last quite a while, uh, but it, that's if they're in the ideal environment. You're taking a tape home, perhaps putting it on your car seat, sitting out in the sun, or somebody's throwing it in a purse that's got other things in there. Um, you know, you're not going to get the optimal life of, of what the tape is rated for typically in a small and medium business. Larger organizations that have uh, staff that uh, this is one of their main job duties, they've got a little bit more control over that, but not typically in a small and medium business. Uh, what's the cost of that downtime that we talked about uh, from a standpoint of the revenue that's lost, your staff not able to do their jobs, and then uh, if you have to rebuild a server, uh, that long and slow restore could be quite expensive as well. So uh, beyond the cost of the tape drive, the software maintenance, purchasing the software, there's a lot of aspects to, uh, to compare if you're really going to do a good uh, apples to apples comparison. So those are the, the main five myths that we, we've got. Um, so I told you I would bring up uh, an alternative solution. And again, we're going to talk about this in more detail on the next webinar. Uh, but one uh, option that we're finding is very popular, provides a lot of great capability, especially in the areas of business continuity uh, that's very easy to manage on an ongoing basis, is a hybrid backup model. And what I mean by hybrid, is you don't have any more tapes to change and swap out uh, a backup appliance which is installed at your site so if you've got uh, a server room or a closet with two or three servers in them we're going to put a backup appliance in there and it's going to do the direct disk to disk backup of those servers uh, this type of solution can handle pretty much anything you have it can handle virtualized servers one or more uh, physical servers can be backed up to it as well a lot of our clients have critical desktop computers uh, that they need available in the event that they were to crash. They want those backed up. They can be backed up to the on-site appliance. And uh, even laptops that are in the office um, can be backed up to this. And these are all. this is all very quick over your local area network. Gets backed up to the local appliance. This could be done once a day at the end of the day. This could be done twice a day, every hour. It's configurable, very quick to do because it's only backing up the changes. And then we set up a schedule for it to replicate off-site. So I had mentioned that off-site backups are very critical, very important. Um, and instead of carrying tapes off-site to your house or to a, a bank storage vault, uh, we're just doing cloud backup. So after hours, when your business is closed, we're going to take that data that was backed up to the local appliance, perhaps multiple times during the day, and send it off-site uh, over a broadband internet connection to a secure cloud data center um, that's out of your area. And there's lots of benefits to, uh, to this architecture. Uh, one of those is you obviously don't have any tapes to change daily. This just happens. And it's monitored if it's any issues are, are occurring. We're going to know about it quickly, resolve those, and you just have the confidence that your backup is happening daily, the off-site is happening, and uh, you're, you're going to have the maximum protection. Very easy to expand as you grow. Your, your storage on the backup appliance in the cloud just grows as you, as you grow, as your business grows, as you're adding more data, more customers, perhaps new applications. Uh, so you're really only paying for what you use, and uh, that just uh, will scale with your business. Very easy model to do. You're not having to buy larger tapes, larger tape drive to now handle the, the increased data on those tapes. There's typically no need for software agents on each server. Uh, with the tape backup system I mentioned, you're going to need to have multiple agents, one for each server, perhaps different types of servers like email and a SQL server. Uh, you've got to pay for the ongoing maintenance of those and upgrades, fast restores. So uh, typical issues, if somebody deletes a file or a file gets corrupted, we're going to go to the local backup appliance and be able to grab that file within a few, two or three minutes, very quick to restore. Um, you know, you set up different retention levels. You can store 
30 dailies, 12 monthlies, depending on your type of business, any regulatory or compliance issues you might have um, or requirements. We're going to set the backup schedule to that appliance and sync that to the cloud so that you've got that retention. But most of the non-disaster level um, restores that take place are very quick to happen from the backup appliance because it's at your site, at your location. You're not having to go find a tape, put it in, you know, roll through it to the point that you're you're finding that particular file. So very fast restores. And then I had mentioned business continuity. This is uh, this is something that uh, we're going to be providing a lot more information on in the upcoming webinars. But this is more than just restoring a file. If your business or one of your critical servers were to crash in 10 minutes uh, from from this webinar being over, how are you going to bring that up, and how long will that take? Um, with a system, a hybrid model, let's say this physical server here were to fail, we can actually restore it up to the last backup point, which could have been an hour ago, last night, depending on uh, the critical nature of your business, and you're going to be up and running on this server. Your staff will sign in and they'll be running with your data and your applications while this server is being repaired. So that gives you time to go acquire a new piece of physical server hardware. Uh, once that comes in, we move your live data back from the backup appliance onto the new replacement server and you're back up and running. So this provides uh, a high degree of business continuity and backup uh, and assurance that uh, you're gonna be able to run in the event of a failure. Um, and same thing with virtualized servers desktops, laptops, they can all be spun up and run on the backup appliance within a couple of minutes of uh, detecting that failure. Uh, let's say a larger scale disaster happens. A fire burns your entire building down. We've had this happen to clients. Uh, we're able to fail over to the cloud. So within a few minutes, your staff can now sign into your applications and access your data off the cloud data center uh, from anywhere you have an internet connection. So we can set you up in a temporary building, get an internet connection, and now your staff can come in and, and be working and addressing your customer questions, uh, booking sales, whatever it is that you're going to do with your systems. So you've got lots of, of redundancy there as well. And this is just something that tape backup can't do. Uh, you're, you're forced to have a long and slow restore acquired new hardware and then uh, you know we've been in situations where uh, we've had to go through three or four backup tapes to find one that's good that works and that data may be a little bit older so you know with tape you definitely need to be testing your restores to have any kind of confidence that it's going to work when you need it so somebody's got to be doing that uh, the other nice thing about a hybrid model is it can cover remote offices or staff working from home. There are some options uh, to go direct to the cloud. So if you don't have a network or server infrastructure, somebody is just a remote worker, but they've got a desktop or a laptop that has critical information that you don't want to be without, that can be uh, backed up directly to the cloud. And then you have the benefits of restoring, being able to restore their files or spin that machine up in the cloud if they were to have a failure uh, while you're replacing their hardware. So you've got lots of good options with the hybrid model. And then you get a, a simple management console. Very easy to go in uh, compared to the tape software and set your retention periods, how much data you want to retain over what period of time, and, uh, and very easy and quick to restore files. You know, at Apex here, the, the help desk I showed you a picture of, they get calls from users that either uh, want to roll back to a file because they put some data in and overwrote something they didn't intend to, or a file was deleted by accident or is damaged. Very quick, they call in, we get on the remote management console, find out uh, you know, what date they want to go back to, restore it, and they're back up and running. Uh, nobody had to go anywhere and get tapes, put the right tape in, all those things that, that we've talked about. So uh, that's, uh, you know, some of the benefits of that hybrid backup model. We'll be talking more about these on future webinars. And uh, if you're using tape today, what, what's your next step? If you think you want to take advantage of something like that hybrid backup model or something else, uh, there's, there's other alternatives out there as well. Uh, you really need to understand what you have now. Uh, what your business needs are for business continuity, uh, you know, what, how many restore points do you need, how, how far back would you need to go to recover data, 
um, in the event uh, of some type of regulatory compliance audit? And then uh, what's your RTO, your, your store time objective? How much, how long can you afford to wait to restore a file or a complete server or a folder of files that was damaged or lost? Uh, so these are all things that um, there's a process to, to figure that out. So uh, we have a, a technical assessment option that we do with lots of businesses uh, that are interested. And the main thing it does is takes a look at uh, what you have now. So where are you now with technology within your business? We compare that to industry best, uh, best practice standards. It helps us determine where you need to be. And then we give you a roadmap on how to get there. And this is something that uh, your internal IT staff can use, or you can outsource or hire somebody to uh, do some of those critical projects and change out the backup system. So um, a technical assessment is a very, very good place to start and will give you lots of information, not only on your backup and business continuity capabilities, but other things as well. So that's what I have today for the five myths of reliable tape backup, uh, you can see the upcoming webinars. The next one will be SMBs need more than just backup. We're going to dive into much more detail on the difference between a backup system and business continuity system. Mm -hmm.